we have been talking about all sorts of binary representations. When I say the word binary representation, what do I mean? I mean that inside the machine there are patterns of ones and zeros that mean something. And they could mean any number of things, depending on what we have assigned as its representation. If you're familiar with programming, you're familiar with defining or declaring a type for your variables. Well, all you're doing is you're telling the machine exactly how to interpret that pattern of ones and zeros. So let's take a look at a pattern of ones and zeros. All right, <clears throat> what does it mean? You can't tell me. You can't tell me because you don't know, I haven't told you what representation that's in. For example, it could be in what we called unsigned binary, remember? So we have unsigned, which means that this is the 128 place, this is the 16 place, this is the 8 place. So this is 128 plus 16 plus 8, which is equal to what? 152? <clears throat> base 10, all right? That's one thing that it could represent. Let's see, what else could it represent? Well, this may take a second. Let's clean this up because maybe that wasn't the representation we meant. Maybe what we wanted was BCD. Do you remember BCD? BCD said we divide this into two pieces. Well, you divide it into nibbles just so happens that whenever you divide an 8-bit number into nibbles, there's two pieces. Each piece represents a different decimal digit. So I've got the ones place here, I've got the tens place here. The ones place has 1000, which is 8. The tens place has 1001, which is 9. We know this because at the nibble level, you're looking at powers of two. But once you get outside the nibble level, each nibble is representing a different base 10 digit. So in BCD, we are looking at, well, 98. Very different number, 98 and 52, right? So we did talk about something in the last lesson, however. And that last lesson said, what if we were using complementary math? Complementary math said that if I have a fixed number of digits, and it's based on the requirement that there are a fixed number of digits, and in this case, I'm using eight digits, then what we can do is we can say, there's a relation between this number and the unsigned binary, but some of the patterns of ones and zeros we're gonna reserve for negative numbers. This was called Two's complement notation. Two's complement notation. And if you remember what we were looking at whenever it talked about the figuring out which ones were reserved for negative numbers and which ones were reserved for positive numbers, it was this most significant digit right here. This most significant bit, which is referred to as the sine bit. All right. Now, in the case of the sine bit being one, we know it's a negative number. In the case of the sine bit being a zero, it's a positive number. If that bit were a zero, then this would have been a positive number and it would have looked exactly like the unsigned binary version of that number. But since there's a one here, it's a negative number. Well, let's look at what this negative number equals. Do you remember what the process was whenever we converted from a positive to a negative number in complementary math? Well, in binary, it was a two-step process. Step one said, invert all of the bits. Okay, so that's pretty easy. You just take each bit one at a time, and you change it, if it was a zero, you change it to a one. If it was a one, you change it to a zero, all right? So that's just step one. Step two to converting it, to basically negating it, is to add one. So let's just do that in this next line here. We will add one to this number. So one plus one is zero, carry the one. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. And then we have just 0, 1, 1, 0. All right?
All right. Is that a positive number or a negative number? Well, that most significant fits a zero, so it's a positive number. Since it's a positive number, then it has exactly the same powers of two representations that we had with unsigned binary. Now, unsigned binary said this is the ones place, the twos place, the fours place, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So what is this equal to? Well, this number right here is equal to, in base 10, 64 plus 32 plus 8, which is equal to, what is that? So we've got um, uh, 64 plus 32, that's 96, plus 8, that's 104, base 10. What does that mean this is equal to, then? Well, that means this guy right there is equal to negative 104, all right? So... We had this pattern of ones and zeros. We had three different things that it could represent, right? And we had uh, unsigned binary. It equaled 152. In BCD, it equaled 98. In two's complement, it equaled negative 104, all right? Negative 104. Don't believe me? Well, there's a real quick way to check this out. All we need to do is just take this, what is it, 10011000, the original negative 104, and add it to positive 104. So this guy right here is equal to negative 104. And then we have positive 104, that's equal to this guy right there, 01101000. What happens if we add these two together? If we add them together, any guesses what the result should be? Well, if it's mathematically correct, the result should be zero, right? So let's do it. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus zero is zero. Looking real good so far. One plus one is zero. Carry the one. 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1. This one right here is sign adjustment, all right? That's just what I'm going to call it, all right? It's a way of getting the negative signs and everything all propagated out so that we can have the correct result with this being the sign bit. So this right here, 0, hey, looks like negative 104 plus 104 equals 0. Good thing, huh? Now, having the negative and the positive right next to each other kind of suggests maybe there is a shortcut to computing or taking the negative of one of these two's complement representation values. Um, if you look at this pattern of ones and zeros for the negative and compare it to the pattern of ones and zeros for the positive, you can see that if you start on the least significant bit side, starting on the left, copy down the zeros. The zeros are all exactly the same on the left-hand side, up to and including this first one. So on the, on the least significant side, you have all these zeros and the first one, they're exactly the same for the positive and the negative version. For the positive and negative version for the remaining bits, they're the inverses. So it turns out we have a shortcut. So we're going to do this uh, shortcut to take negative of a two's complement value. All right, pretty easy. And it's a two-step process, but it's a lot easier two-step process than the inverting all the bits and doing the addition for adding that one and worrying about all your carries and your math and so forth. So, starting at the least significant bit, copy all zeros up to and including first one. So that's the very first thing we do. We start on the right hand left, yeah, excuse me, sorry, the right hand side and copy down all the zeros up to and including the first one. And then we invert the remaining bits. All right. 
Two-step process, that's all there is to it. Pretty simple. Now, let's go ahead and do a little bit of math right now. I know, everybody loves math. So, let's take our pattern 1001, 1000. Now remember, I'm not telling you right now whether this is unsigned binary or whether it is two's complement. Remember, if it was unsigned binary, we're looking at 152. If it is two's complement, we're looking at negative 104. And let's add it to something. How about adding it to 01010111? We're going to just do an addition here. Now, if we were doing this in, well, it doesn't matter. Let's just go ahead and do the addition. So 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. There's a lot of 1s here. 1 plus 1 is 0. Carry the 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. All right. Now, what I'd like to take a look at is the positive and, or excuse me, the unsigned binary version of this and the signed or two's complement version of this. Hopefully I've got enough room on the board here. So let's first, this guy right here in unsigned binary, remember, was, what is it, 152? So this is equal to 152. In unsigned binary, what is this guy equal to? Well, this is equal to 64 plus 16, that's 80, plus 4, 84, 86, 80, what is that, 87? So 87. All right. Now, we do the addition. We get 2 plus 7 is 9, 5 plus 8 is 13, carry the 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, so 239. Is that what this guy equals? 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus uh, 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. Well, there's another way of looking at it. This is also just all the bits set, right? 255 except 16. What's 255 minus 16? 239. So the addition works just fine in unsigned binary. But what about 2's complement? If we're looking at 2's complement, this is not 152 anymore. This guy right here is actually the negative 104. All right. Well, negative 104 plus 87 does not equal 239, so we can't interpret this number as 239. What can we interpret it as? Well, remember, how do you tell a negative number from a positive number in 2's complement? It's that most significant bit right there. That most significant bit is a one, and since that most significant bit is a one, that means this is actually a negative number, which makes sense since negative 104 has a greater magnitude than 87. How do we figure out what the positive of this is? Well, we convert it. No, notice, you can't use the, twos, the powers of two in order to figure out what this value is equal to. What you have to do, since this is a negative number, you have to convert it to positive and then do the conversion with powers of two. So, starting on the right-hand side, we copy down all the zeros up to and including the first one. Well, it hit the one right away. There were no zeros. So all we're gonna do is copy down that first one. Then we flip all the remaining bits, all right? So this 00010001 is the positive of this two's complement value. What's this equal to? Well, that's the 16's place, that's the one's place. This is equal to 17, which means this guy is equal to negative 17. Is negative 104 plus 84 equal to negative 17? You bet it is. So, this is just a quick demo. Well, really, there were a couple of things. Showed you basically the, the conversion from negative to positive and two's complement. Did a couple of conversions using the powers of two. And we showed that the addition works regardless of whether you're doing unsigned binary or two's complement. Next time, we'll talk about overflows. And it's different for unsigned binary than it is for two's complement.